Hi everyone. Here is a video with a pickup coil, which is again is a coil from a shaded pole motor that I've added to my uh, pulsed toroid. And I have that coil uh, going to my breadboard here. And I have a capacitance, which is um, I believe that's 220 uh, picofarads and the uh, LED so that's a regular LED that's uh, connected there and as you can see that LED is lit so this is uh, energy that uh, one would be capable of picking up from the toroid coil and um, so the circuit is calibrated and adjusted at this time from the source voltage of 16.5152 volts okay and if we look at our precision meter here uh, we're picking up uh, no current so the uh, circuit is calibrated at this time to uh, not send too much current back and not uh, spend any current so let's uh, now we have our still our uh, battery connected so we can disconnect our battery now oh, well, okay. remove that completely there so we're still uh, on here everything's working out and if we look at our voltage our voltage is still uh, staying at the capacitor bank so for this uh, LED to light up this way obviously we know that that coil has to be uh, pulsing and it is being pulsed by the signal generator I do agree and now if I connect my uh, clip here we can measure the voltage across that capacitor bank and if we look the voltage is staying steady and as a matter of fact it is uh, slightly climbing possibly as well so it's basically at a neutral point and uh, we're not uh, sending or receiving energy I've got it uh, just adjusted so that it doesn't do one or the other so it's not descending for sure and uh, it's increasing just ever so slightly and the circuit is operating with no use of current here I agree it's possibly using a little bit of current here from this probe uh, which is coming from the signal generator so that would be the only possible source of energy so what I thought of doing is let's disconnect the uh, source here the negative and as soon as I disconnect that you'll see the circuit stops and our voltage is uh, staying well I guess the capacitors are losing voltage as well <laughs> they're draining and what we can do is we'll just take that same LED and connect it between the source and drain of the MOSFET here and if we look at that we can see it light a little bit All right. so that little bit of lighting represents the amount of energy that that um, that is leaking I would say between the uh, source and um, and drain of the uh, MOSFET itself and we can barely see I really got to move the camera around for you to see that thing lit but it is lit I mean if I pull it out you see the light goes down a little bit so yes there is some energy uh, going into the circuit between those two there but it's very minimal compared to what we can pick up on the pickup coil here let me connect that again and you'll see look <laughs> so how is it possible that we're getting more energy on this end when we're really not dissipating that money much energy right there between the source and drain of the MOSFET and that is very interesting to me and as you saw as well the capacitor when I disconnected the circuit was actually draining itself losing energy and right now it's actually charging itself back up so 
<laughs> we are sending a little bit of energy back that way as well and uh, no batteries connected so I think this is something uh, that you know we should be looking into uh, a little bit more and uh, hopefully uh, we can uh, crack this one and I believe we only have I have one coil here I believe I can add another coil on this side here because there's a reverse field happening on this side here of the toroid and maybe under you know on the underside maybe there could be up to four coils added there and I think uh, each one would be capable of lighting a uh, LED like this and without really uh, you know cr draining more energy from the source there's some kind of resonance that's happening in there and uh, once we tune it correctly and that's why this little capacitor is there because if I remove that capacitor you'll see that nothing really happens so we have to tune the uh, coil correctly and then we uh, can extract energy and uh, that energy is uh, not really costing anything from the source and uh, anyway so I thought I'd post this and uh, seeing it's kind of interesting to see these uh, results and again once more I can quickly uh, disconnect the power here and and connect our uh, LED so you look at it once more how much energy there is there hardly anything and once more back here So this uh, coil here is just an air core, there's no core inside it, and it's probably better that way. Uh, but I still need to experiment with that as well. And again, you see the capacitor bank is uh, self-charging itself. So that's all for uh, today, and uh, I might be away for a few days now because uh, my son uh, is uh, here as of tomorrow, and uh, I need to spend some time with him and his uh, son, which is... My grandson. So uh, thanks a lot for all your support and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.